Now, if you're brand new to analytics or just kicking off your career, it's okay to feel a little bit lost. So I wanna to try to help you start finding your path. And what we're gonna do is talk about four common roles in the analytics world, BI analyst, data visualization specialist, data engineer, and data scientist. We're gonna talk about generally what those roles entail and why they might or might not be a good fit for you. So starting with business intelligence or data analyst, we might use those terms somewhat interchangeably. That role may be a good fit for you if you love analyzing and mining raw data for insights and then communicating that insight to help convince stakeholders to take action. Ultimately, that's what BI is all about. It's great for people who enjoy solving a very wide variety of business cases and more open-ended tasks. And it's perfect if you want to build a really deep and broad skill set, learning everything from data prep and QA and engineering to analysis and visualization. A data visualization specialist role might be a better fit if you really love the design component, if you love telling stories with data, bringing data to life, or if you're like me and you like to flex both your left and right sides of the brain, really focus on blending creative and critical thinking skills, or if you prefer working with clean, prepared data and working under more specific project guidelines, if that sounds appealing to you, a data viz specialist role might be great for you. A data engineer or database admin DBA role might be a good fit if you really like the infrastructure, right? Building the plumbing or the pipelines to help systems talk to each other and send data from place to place. It's great for people who prefer more concrete technical tasks over more open-ended business cases. And it tends to be a great role for people who want to do things like build and design database systems as opposed to performing visual or exploratory analysis. And last but not least, a data science or machine learning role might be great if you really love writing programs and writing code, if you enjoy working with numbers, math, and stats, if you not only have the technical skills, but also the ability to distill complex topics and communicate them clearly, especially to a non-technical audience, or if you tend to prefer shorter term one-off projects over things like dashboard design or performance reporting. Now, again, in the real world, this is all very fluid. This is really just a general sense of what these roles typically entail, but hopefully it will help to give you some insight into which path might be a good fit for you.